Woody Tondorf, who's a writer, producer, creator in our lab, came in with this piece of tape that he had shot. And I thought, OK, there's something here. There's college kids, that's our demo. They are speaking in a language that we don't normally speak in in person because what they were doing was speaking through technology. At that point I thought, okay, but what makes this different? What makes this an experiment? It was at this time that Suzanne got involved. The timing was so perfect because it's like, hey, we have this thing. We'd like to engage the social networking audience. How do we do that? Could that be our problem that we approach together? We had also been talking about using YouTube and web celebs. There are partners on YouTube that have tremendous audience on the web. You'll see some of them here. Lonely Girl, 15, Jessica Rose, Kev Jumba, and Sexy Phil, Phil DeFranco. We're part of our cast. We had a couple of months of meeting with our volunteer mentor team, and the challenge was how do we leverage the behavior of the social networking sites on Facebook and on MySpace and the audience that's there and bring them over to watch our series and engage with our characters and actually subscribe to our channels. And we came up with a very simple, smart idea, and that was to have a character who is uh, Dylan, the Dylan Factor, drive the conversation around what was happening in the series on the social networking sites. The storyline we created was that he encountered Meg, Jessica Rose, during orientation. And they hooked up. And now that school started, and she's moved on, denies knowing him. He was menacing and creepy and kind of an outsider who really was trying to get in with the in crowd. And he began to appear um, in a vlog, in his own actual YouTube channel, but the social network sites, as the series launched. Hello. Maybe only a few of you know who I am. Um, so let me take a second to introduce myself. My name is Dylan Winters, and uh, you're going to be seeing a lot from me from now on. Um, well, you're not actually going to see me, but you'll feel my presence. Because like any real outsider, you'd never even know if you tripped over me. And that's what I am. I'm an outsider. Like you. But unlike you, I am very, very smart. As we were uploading our series, he continues to try and get to Meg, and he's up to some shenanigans, but he eventually does reveal himself on the social network site. All of the characters were engaged with this storyline and as it related to the storyline in, in the series. We had to create a website, hookingupshow.com, and the website was gonna not only house all of the episodes, but create a community where the fans can come and talk to the characters and other fans on message boards uh, via the blog and actually kind of watch a social network interaction between the characters on, on Bass Book. We had to establish the platforms that we wanted to upload to, so we already had partnerships in place with Break and YouTube and MySpace, and we reached out to a few others so that we could have channels there that were completely branded with the look that we had on, on our website. Then we moved on to making sure that each one of our characters have full profiles, and we all in our lab got assigned these characters and began living these characters as students would move into a dorm, check in for classes, and go to their first football game. You can see the result. Over 2 million views web-wide. And this, the subscribers on YouTube went from zero to 46,000. The social networking really helped take off with the ability to talk about these stars and interact with all of the characters. It just created more of a momentum for the series itself. I just want to thank the whole team, so helpful in talking us through this to the AFI in getting them all together and figuring out our problems. Thanks.